Hello, my dear loving kids, I'm back again to teach you computer. Children, so far we have done with our lesson number two, that is, let's get familiar with computers. Today, in this video, uh, we are going to discuss the exercise questions, okay? Uh, I have already given you these questions in your homework, but today, uh, I am going to solve these question answers. So what you have to do, you have to just recheck and do the correction by yourself if there is any need. Okay, I'll solve the question answers here. I'll write down the answers here and you just recheck the answers. Okay, whether you have written them correct or not. Got it children? So, here the exercises questions are given on page number 15 here the exercise questions are given okay so now open page number 15 so children here comes the first question fill in the blanks children so here comes the first one computers are used in dash from the three options as you know computers are used in uh, at home in schools in banks in offices okay but here it has been given three options so you have to find out the correct answer from only this option okay so here the options are given calculations schools and data so what would be the answer children yes computers are used in schools write down s c h Double O L S schools. Written. Very good. Now come to the second one. Computer can do dash. See children, schools we have uh, filled already. So two options are left: calculations and data. So what would come in the answer? Yes, children. Computer can do calculations means addition subtraction okay so write down calculation c a l cal c u q l a l a t i o n s shans calculations written now come to the third part Computer can store dash. Only one option is left. Yes. So, here it is the answer. Computer can store data. Write down. D-A-T-A. -A, data. Children, data could be anything like letters, numbers, pictures, images, anything. Okay. So, computer can store any kind of data and information in it. Got it, children? So now, move on to question number two. Question number two. True or false? So here, children, first we have to read out the sentence and then we have to find out whether this sentence is correct or not. If it is wrong, you have to write down F for false. If it is correct, you have to write down T for true. Got it, children? So now read out the first sentence. Computer work very slow. Is it, children? A computer can work slow. No, children. Computer works faster. So this statement is wrong. What you have to write down in front of it? Yes. F. The first statement is false, children. Got it? Now move on to page number 16. Here is the second one. We can listen to music on computer. Is it? Yes, children. We can use computer to listen to music. Also, we can watch movies on it. So, this is statement is true. This is statement is correct. So, write down T for true. Okay, children. Now, the third statement. Computer gets tired easily. Is it? No children, computer cannot get tired. We humans get tired, but a computer is a machine. It works on electricity. It never gets 
tired. Got it? So this is statement is false. Write down F in front of it. Okay, this is statement is wrong. So we have written F. F means false. Done children? Okay, so now move on to question number three. So children, here I'm giving you uh, this question on the screen. Just look at the screen. So here I'm giving you the picture of this question. Note down, right, note down the correct answer. Okay, if you have done wrong. So question number four is answer the following questions. So here are two questions are given. You have to write down their answers. So the first question is Mention any two places where computers are used. Children, here this is the answer of this question. Now children, in book it is given you have to mention any two places. So in book you will write down only this much. Okay. In book you will write down only this two. Okay, A and B, only this two. Now children, there are many places where computers are used. Here I have written down the list of the places where the computers are used. It's up to you. You can write down any two options, any two places from here in your book. That answer is also correct. Here I have written this. So any two places you have to write down in your book. Okay, and in notebook I have given you, mentioned any five places. So here... I have given you the list. You can write down any five places from here in your notebook. That is also correct. But here I am writing down all the places where the computers are used. Okay. Now it is up to you. You can choose any place and you can write it down in your book and notebook. In book you have to write down any two places and in notebook you have to write down any five places. Now got my point. Okay, so now let us discuss the answer of this question. So, the places where computers are used are here at home. We use computer at home. In shops. Okay, in shops and malls computers are used. Next, in library. Okay, in library also computers are used to keep the record of the books. Okay. In schools, we teachers also use computers, okay? In hotels, in hotels also computers are used. In offices, okay? In offices, computers are used. In banks also, computers are used. And in hospitals. Got it, children? Now, here I have given you... Eight places, name of eight places, okay? You can write down any two places in your book and any five places in your notebook. That is also correct. Now, let us proceed towards the next question. That is question number two. What can you do with computers at home? See children, at various places, computers can perform various functions, okay? So here you have to write down that what things you can do on computer at home. Here is the answer. We can listen to songs. Next, play games. Watch movies. So these are the things we can do with computers at home. Okay, you can also write down uh, drawing and painting. Okay, whatever you do with your computer, you can write down the answer in your own words also. Okay, but if you want, if you don't know the answer, you can take help from here also. Got it, children? So now, let us proceed towards our fifth question. Multiple choice questions MCQs. Now, children, here in these questions, four options are given. You have to find out the correct option and you have to put a tick sign in front of it. Okay. So, let me read out the questions for you. The first one is, take the place where computers are used. Option A. Banks. Option B. Schools. Option 
option C, hotels and option D, all of these. Now children, in banks also, in schools also and in hotels also, in all the three places computers are used. So what left? Yes, fourth, all of these. In all the places computers are used. So just, so the correct answer is the D. Okay, in front of D part you have to tick all of these. Okay. You got it? Now, second one. Which of these is correct for computer? Okay. Now, the first option is option A. Cannot store things. Option B. Makes mistakes. Option C. Gets tired. Option D. Works faster. So children, here are the four things given. Okay, you have to find out that which one of them is correct for the computer. Option A, cannot store things. See children, computer can store things. Okay, it can store lot of data. So the first option is not correct. Okay, B1 makes mistake. This is also a computer doesn't do. Okay, a computer doesn't uh, make mistake. Next, gets tired. As we know, computer never gets tired. So, option D, works faster. As we all know, computer can work faster. Okay. So, this option, option D, is correct for the computer. This is the only thing a computer can do. Okay. Works faster. So, the option is, again, D, works faster. Okay, children. So, put a tick mark in front of the D option. Here, I am giving you a glimpse of the answers as I have written in the book. Okay? So, children, this is how you have to write down the answers in your book. Okay? Okay, children, just watch this video carefully and note down the correct answer in your notebook. As I have already told you, if you have written the answers, just do the correction from here. Got it? So, this is now for today in this video. We will be meeting soon in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay home.